Rashida Jones' dad is one of the most famous music producers of all time, but it sounds like she often holds all the power in their relationship. Keep watching for that story and other tales about celebs with surprisingly famous parents. Chris Pine is probably best known as Captain Kirk in J.J. Abrams' 2009 reboot of Star Trek, as well as its sequels. But an entirely different media franchise actually paved Pine's way into Hollywood. Chips, the classic series about a pair of motorcycle-riding cops, featured Chris's father, Robert, in a recurring role as Sergeant Joseph Gutreyer. To Chris's credit, he reportedly only used his famous dad to help him land a job as a production assistant. A three-year-old Chris actually made an appearance alongside his dad on an episode of Chips, but acting wasn't something he was set on from an early age, as he revealed during an interview in 2016. I just started doing plays in college, and then I went to LA, then I got an agent, it just sort of rolled like a very slow snowball into what I'm doing now. It's very weird. After his production assistant days, the younger Pine then worked his way up from building sets to starring in the likes of blockbusters like Wonder Woman. Maya Rudolph is known for making us laugh, but did you know she comes from a musical family? The SNL alum is the daughter of composer Richard Rudolph and singer Minnie Ripperton, who died when Maya was just a child. Ripperton shot to the top of the charts in 1975 with the classic pop song Lovin' You. Both of Maya's parents contributed to the tune, which had humble origins as a lullaby that Ripperton would sing to Maya and her brother Mark. In 2018, Rudolph told the New York Times, "...when I was a kid and people would come up to me or stare at me because of my mom, I didn't like it. I used to think, oh, they're staring at my hair because it's so big and ugly. Because I didn't realize people were just staring at my mother like, wow, that's her daughter." Maya is now the mother of four children of her own, with Licorice Pizza director Paul Thomas Anderson. She talked to Us Weekly in 2017 about having a big family. As she gushed, "...I feel really lucky. It's like this extra layer of life you never knew about." For the Bridesmaids star, knowing that her mom's legacy lives on warms her heart. As she told You Discover in 2019, "...Lovin' You was the debut of the special quality that my mother had, and people just were blown away." Katie Cassidy burst onto the scene with parts on Seventh Heaven, Supernatural, and the Melrose Place reboot before landing her most prominent role on the hit CW superhero show Arrow. If her last name sounds familiar, that's probably because she's the daughter of the late David Cassidy, star of the hit 70s sitcom The Partridge Family. But David has admitted in interviews that he didn't raise Katie. Instead, she lived with her mother, Sherry Williams. In the years leading up to his death, Katie and David became so estranged that she was reportedly left out of his will, although she also reportedly rushed to his side when he was hospitalized before his death on November 21, 2017. My father, you know, he had demons, as we all do. Suffice it to say that Katie didn't get much help from her father to break into showbiz, as she explained to Fox News in 2018. "...David Cassidy is my father, yes, but for me, it was always really important with acting to stay in class, study it, and earn it on my own. My dad didn't help me. At the end of the day, talent is talent. You have to be able to deliver." As the son of British actors Timothy Carlton and Wanda Ventham, Benedict Cumberbatch follows a trend of not using his famous parents' last names. But in a weird twist, he actually does go by his real family moniker. His mother reportedly warned him not to do so because the Cumberbatch surname, which his father chose to not use professionally, is heavily associated with slavery. Fascinatingly enough, though, Benedict has purposefully taken roles in films that highlight the awfulness of the slave industry to atone for his ancestors. Benedict's parents also didn't really encourage their son to be an actor, as they reportedly wanted him to pursue a career as a barrister instead. However, as Cumberbatch explained to Variety, after Carlton saw his son perform in Amadeus while he was still at university, he told him, "...you're better at this than I ever was or ever will be. Can't wait to watch you and support you in what I think is going to be a fantastic career." Benedict's folks definitely came around, as they even portrayed his character's parents in an episode of Sherlock. Eve Hewson, star of the Netflix series Behind Her Eyes, has a very famous father. His name is Paul David Hewson, but you probably know him better as Bono. So has the U2 frontman helped his daughter along the way? According to Hewson, that's a big fat yes. As she told The Mirror in 2021, "...I always say that my dad's a crazy stage mother." Initially, Bono and Eve's mom Allie didn't want her to pursue acting, but now they're all in. As Eve explained, "...I just ask him his opinion on many things. We're constantly giving each other advice, to be honest. I tell him all of my opinions about his career, so it's a two-way street." But while Bono is plenty supportive, he can also be pretty embarrassing. As Eve revealed to OK when she was a kid, 
He used to blast Backstreet Boys in his car in traffic on the way to school. He'd get out of the car in his dressing gown and dance with his glasses on, and we'd be mortified. He, he's, he's a fun time, but he, he knows how to embarrass me, that's for sure. We imagine that wasn't exactly what you'd call a beautiful day. When it comes to last names, it doesn't get more common than Jones, so it would be easy to assume that Parks and Recreation star Rashida Jones comes from an average family. But that couldn't be further from the truth, as she's actually the daughter of legendary music producer Quincy Jones. However, if you want to know who really wields the power in this family, consider this. Rashida had Quincy recast on her TBS sitcom Angie Tribeca after he played her TV dad in the pilot episode. Don't worry, though, as there were no hard feelings. For all of Quincy Jones' accomplishments, he got recast in his daughter's show playing her father. As for Rashida's mother, that would be the late actress Peggy Lipton. And despite her famous pedigree, Rashida didn't spend her childhood planning on an acting career. As she admitted to The Guardian in 2014, "...when I would talk about being interested in the law as a kid, my parents would be like, that's so cute, she has her own thing." It wasn't until Rashida's college years that she realized her desire to act. But landing roles didn't exactly come easy for her. As she explained during a Tribeca Talks event in 2019, "...it's not a meritocracy. Above all, the people that I know in the business are resilient." Grammy-nominated singer-songwriter L. King is the daughter of a guy with a great voice, though he's known more for making people laugh. She was born while her dad, Rob Schneider, was a writer for SNL and right before he became a cast member on the sketch show. But he wasn't a huge part of her childhood, as she was raised by her mom, London King, and her stepdad, Justin. In 2018, she opened up to People magazine about her complicated relationship with her famous father. As she put it, "...my whole childhood, my dad was a workaholic." They eventually reconnected after she got out of her own destructive marriage. Schneider is now married to actor-producer Patricia Maya Schneider, and King's two young half-sisters prompted her to reconnect with her dad in 2018. As she explained to People, "...I wanted my sisters to have good memories of me from their childhood when they grew. Family really is so important, so through that, me just kind of showing up and trying to be good for them really made it easy because there were no bad motives." By 2020, King was even performing a duet with her dad for his Netflix special. Dear Old Dad eventually became his daughter's biggest fan, and she's been eating it up. As she told People, "...every other day I'll get texts in all caps of like, "'Your record's gonna change the world. I can't wait for your fans to hear what you've made. I love you. I'm so proud of you. And that's a beautiful, wonderful thing." I used to be Rob Schneider. Now I'm L. King's dad. Once upon a time in Hollywood actress Margaret Qualley is the daughter of one of Hollywood's most enduring stars. That would be Andy McDowell, who's probably best known for the 90s films Four Weddings and a Funeral and Groundhog Day. In 2021, the two even starred together as mother and daughter in the Netflix series Maid. In an interview with Collider, Qualley recalled finding out about the job opening and thinking, "...my mom's gotta do this, and I called producer Margot Robbie and she loved the idea." Working with a seasoned pro who also happened to have given birth to her was quite the coup for Qualley. As she described it, "...it's the biggest cheat I've ever managed to pull off." McDowell has just as many compliments for her daughter. As she told The Washington Post in 2021, "...we are very close. We're both truly emotional beings and we spend a lot of time together." That I was so nice. happy to work with my daughter. Well, and McDowell knew that a good opportunity like Maid doesn't come along that often. As she told USA Today, "...every moment was precious for me. I really wanted to do a good job because it meant everything to me because I was scared it would never happen again." Law & Order SVU star Mariska Hargitay is the daughter of actress Jane Mansfield and Hungarian bodybuilder Mickey Hargitay. In a 2018 interview with Closer Weekly, Mariska admitted that growing up the daughter of famous parents wasn't always easy. As she put it, "...in some ways, being the daughter of a Hollywood icon has been a burden. I used to hate constant references to my mom because I wanted to be known for myself." Mariska's connection to her mother is also marked by tragedy, as she still has a scar on her face from the fateful day that Mansfield was killed in a car accident that spared her children, including three-year-old Mariska. Acting actually wasn't on Mariska's radar until she landed a part in a school play. As she revealed to People magazine in 1985, "...I want to be an actress, not a model or a pretty face." Mariska has worked hard to make her own name in Hollywood, though she's also ultimately made peace with her lineage. Riley Keough may not have a famous last name, but she does bear a striking resemblance to her mom, Lisa Marie Presley, as well as her grandfather, Elvis Presley. 
During her childhood, she split her time with her mom and her musician dad, Danny Keough, who divorced when Riley was six. As she revealed to The Guardian in 2017, I grew up very privileged with my mother, but my dad didn't live like that. Actually, my memories of growing up with him were so colorful and eccentric and fun. When I was like eight, I told him, I want to grow up and be poor like you. Riley certainly didn't grow up poor, though, and she's certainly getting good work often enough nowadays that she hasn't exactly fulfilled her childhood declaration to her dad. She's admitted that she was super shy growing up, and she also remembers her mother telling her to work hard otherwise she wouldn't be taken seriously. And when it came to getting her start in Hollywood, being a Presley didn't exactly hurt. As she put it to The Guardian, like the normal story of moving to LA and it takes you three years to find an agent, I got one in a week. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.